Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another haul. I picked up a few things, I wanted to share it with you guys and uh, I hope you enjoy hauls as much as I do. It's nice to see what people buy and what uh, new releases are out or discounts or things. I really like to see these things and it gives you an idea of what could come uh, on the channel or on the blog. Talking about the blog, have you noticed that it's back? I've been posting things there that maybe I don't share on my uh, YouTube channel and also I want a repository for all my swatches. Instagram is fun but it's not searchable and uh, I've always loved uh, having all of my swatches on my blog. At some point I'd like to make it more of a gallery where you can actually search for them um, but that is for a time in which either I learn web development or I hire someone to do it for me which so far still have been not making any money so I don't think it's gonna happen very soon. Anyways let's start this haul with some skincare. You've uh, probably seen on my channel my uh, combination to oily skin routine by The Ordinary and it's a brand I love and I still stand behind all of what I said there but it's always space for trying new things and trying new products and The Ordinary comes out with new products all the time so I picked up um, their new bee oil and uh, this is a mixture of oils that contains squalane, rosehip oil, argan oil and a bunch of good things also some wheat, seaweed type of extract I believe because the color is green I'm already using it uh, as my nighttime oil because I finished my marula as you might have seen in my empties. All these videos I'm talking about they're either gonna appear here in the cards or they're gonna be down in the description box. Uh, but yeah, been using this I'll report back when I know. Then I picked up the Matrixil 10% and uh, hyaluronic acid and uh, this is because um, I've been using the buffet in, at, in the evening and it contains castor oil. The first tube I used of that I never actually noticed any effect but this summer oh my god my peach fuzz on my face is growing like crazy I feel like I'm a man with all the peach fuzz that I'm growing so I decided that I'm gonna go through that but finish it and uh, move on to a different um, anti-aging support with some hydration and I thought the Matrixil would be a um, good option. It's a high strength peptide formulation and the hydration comes from the hyaluronic acid. Curious to try it. And uh, finally the most fun one, if you can call it fun, this is the 100% uh, pure alexcorbic acid powder. This is pure vitamin C in a powder form. You mix it into your serums and apply it to your face. It's uh, supposed to be a, the best way to actually decide yourself your concentration. You can dose it to build it up so that you don't burn your skin or sensitize it too much. I haven't opened it. I'm very very well not scared but you know uh, I still need to think about how I'm gonna introduce it in my routine I'm still using the EUK 134 that I know in that video I mentioned I didn't like because it was oily but I've been using now literally two to three drops in the morning and I feel like it's helping my skin or I, I feel it, it it makes me believe that it's giving my skin a little bit more of a barrier against the sun so I'm happy to use it. Anyways, um, these are the three things I got from The Ordinary. I order from their website. The shipping is free over 25 euros and yeah it's really easy to pick up quite a few things and uh, um, yeah everything fell on the floor. I'm back. Nothing is broken it seems. Then another skincare purchase and this I blame Bea from Strawberry Makeup Bag. If you're not following her on Instagram she has the most beautiful flat lace. She signaled how uh, ASOS had been releasing a box, an exclusive with Clinique because Clinique was launching, launching and now is sold on ASOS. It was absolutely inexpensive and it contains a bunch of amazing products. So that was the sleeve. This is how the box came packaged. Okay um, and it contains a few minis and a few full-size products. To start with the full-size product uh, this is the Clinique City Block Sheer SPF 25 all free 
daily face protector. Gorgeous. SPF 25 is a bit on the low side, but as I tan in summer, maybe my skin is a little bit less sensitive and a bit more protected by my own tan. I don't know, I'm not really tanning much with all the SPS I'm wearing, but sorry, I'm digressing. Uh, anyways, um, great value for this uh, little guy. Then we have the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. It's a mini, uh, well, a deluxe sample size, and I'm already ready to put it in my travel makeup bag for when I go to Italy next weekend. And uh, it feels like it would be the perfect after sun and uh, evening moisturizer. Looks great. Then we have a deluxe size of the Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. Another thing that looks incredibly like a night cream to me. I'm very excited to try it out. I had tried when they had released a few years ago or reformulated their Monster Surge. There wasn't a different jar, different color, and it was really heavy for my skin, so I passed it along, but I'm curious to try this one. We also have a City Block Purifying Charcoal Clay Mask and Scrub, and this is for all skin types, but uh, anything clay is good for my oily skin. And uh, this is what it looks like, also a little tube. I don't know that I'm gonna um, bring it to Italy for the beach, but I love these mini sizes to go away. And um, finally, a really good product that I've been wanting to try for a long time is the Take It The Day Off Cleansing Balm. This will come with me to Italy because my uh, cleansing oil from the body shop does not travel well. And I actually usually find oil all over my stuff when I bring it with me. So I'm happy to have a balm. Um, to carry with me. It's not the biggest size and I don't know how much I'll use each time but it's perfect for uh, my trip to Italy. I'm flying down with only a hand luggage so yeah this is uh, quite small it should be fine to bring on the plane it's 15 mils it will be fine to bring on the plane the other one as well and that was the Clinique and ASOS box. I want to say it was 15 euros I might say even 12. I'll put it on the um, screen if I find the price. I think now it's sold out, but you never know. You could check it out. In any case, now ASOS sells Clinique. Let's go further with products you've already seen in my favorites and in my August uh, uh, Shop My Stash. These are the Lancome Lapsolu Lacquer in 515, I think it's Be Happy, and the Clarins Water Lip Serum, no, Stain. And uh, these are two lippies that I decided to pick up after watching um, Samantha Ravendahl's videos on glossy lips for summer, things like that. I'm obsessed with bright orangey red lips this summer as is everybody else it looks like whatever and um, um, yeah I picked these two up at Douglas when there was a 30% of all uh, lippies uh, uh, offer and uh, then I'll, I picked and it seemed like a good occasion to try these I was really really into them and interested so um, yeah if you want to review I'll let you know in the meantime the Lancome one is already in the favorites just so you know. Then I went to just the department store here in the Netherlands, it's called Bayekov, and during the sales they had MAC lipsticks on sales. Um, so I picked one up, this is Modern Temptress. This was from a um, Velvet Matte formula release a while ago. They came out with a, a five or six beautiful dark vampy shades, I think it was maybe last winter. Something like that, and these were 30% off. I came quite late in the sale, so there were only a few shades that I liked. But for example, there's the shade Beatrix. I think it's still on sale on the MAC website that I've been wanting forever, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy it. Um, this is the shade, it is a medium brown. Um, I can't wait to use it for fall. Um, okay, maybe it's a medium dark but on me, it's gonna just look medium. Um, yeah, curious, I love MAC matte lipsticks. So this was a purchase with, I had a 30% plus a gift card. It was pretty much free. Then I went to NYX and uh, in the hunt for an orangey red 
lip liner to go with all my glosses. I picked up this um, lip liner by NYX in the shade Pumpkin. Sounds good. It's actually quite shimmery. Um, I haven't used it yet because I wanted to keep it in my haul box just to make sure I didn't miss it when I was hauling it. But this was this. Then Beauty Bay and Morphe broke up, as they were saying. So Beauty Bay does not uh, hold or carry any more Morphe brushes. So they had everything discounted up to 40%. I wasn't really interested in any of the palettes because I'm not a big fan of their uh, eyeshadow palettes, but I did take the advantage of buying brushes. So these are the ones I picked up during the sale. I picked up the M439, which is a very famous uh, foundation brush from them. Um, it's dirty because I've used it to put on my BB cream today, but um, for my BB cream, not a big fan. I use the uh, CoverGirl Clean Matte BB. Um, I need to try it with a foundation to buff it in, but it left uh, some streaks on me. But it's very dense, it's round, it's, it feels really good. Then uh, I got the E3 brush, which is this uh, yeah, powder or blush. I thought of using it for blush or uh, just powder. Um, yeah, it looks nice. It's very soft uh, and bendy. Then also from the same line, the E48, just, just a smaller version. I wanted to look at this compared to my e.l.f. small taper brush, which is this one, which is actually quite hard to get here in the Netherlands, so now I have also a Morphe version of it for powder under my eyes especially. It has a great, great shape for that. Then uh, I got myself a M526. M527 and this is huge but I wanted something for my bronzer. I had been using another Morphe brush that I got when I was in LA which is this one MB41 for my blush and it was good also for contour or just keeping it quite um, confined but I wanted something fluffier and bigger and this is really really fluffy it has a pinched ferrule so you can actually give it quite a good shape I don't know, I've been liking it. I've been using it for bronzer. Been liking that one. Then, uh, uh, by mistake, I purchased two uh, brushes that look exactly the same. And these are the M501 and the R36. And you can see them here. They are quite similar. I think the R, the Rose Gold 36, is a bit uh, more dense, has more hair, and a little bit less tapered. And then the M501 is more tapered. And this is for um, highlighter. And uh, I bought these because uh, of the Nabla new highlight brush. And I wanted something much more inexpensive than that. And uh, yeah, Nabla situation is a different one. Um, if you know me, we've talked about it. I, I'm quite vocal about it. But anyways, um, I have these two. Then I picked up a few uh, eye brushes. Can you see them if I put them here? A very flat one, which is the M432. It's just a very flat square brush and it, that is perfect to pack color underneath the lash line. Then I got the E36, which is a very tiny um, pencil brush, but it's uh, a little bit less stiff than uh, my Zoeva pencil brushes, let's say. Uh, I love how uh, the, the handle tapers down. It's very pretty. And then I picked up an uh, M321, which is a little bit of a stubbier pencil brush and a bit wider in uh, uh, diameter. And then uh, the 506 and 507. Now, I didn't know what the difference was, and uh, now I do. The 507 is thinner and more tapered. The 506 is a little bit fatter and a little bit more give. Um, wow, that wasn't English, I'm sorry. Um, the 506 has been in my favorites before and I have an old one here that I've used. It's a little bit frayed because I've washed it uh, as well. But um, yeah, it seems like the quality of the ferrules increased. And this one, my old one I bought last September when I was in LA. So almost a year ago. And I think that's that, and I think they rebranded after that. Uh, but the branding on this uh, new one is much prettier. The ferrule, it, no, the handle of the brush is a little bit thinner. I like it. So these were my Morphe brushes from 
beauty bag. Then you might have seen on my blog or I will link it down below, I went a bit crazy on Makeup Geek eyeshadows for their damaged eyeshadow sale. Um, I did a few orders, then I picked up uh, a few Makeup Geek eyeshadows during their sale at Beauty Bay. I just increased my collection. I'm gonna uh, show you only this palette. While I'm at it, if you follow me on Instagram, you went through the organizing of this palette and the frustration of this pink with me. If you have, give me a heart down below because it was a tough one. Um, but anyways, a bunch of these were damaged. You can probably see it on this shade here that it's still cracked, but you can just repress them quite easily. And uh, yeah, my uh, collection is now uh, 11 out from having them all all the ones at least they still have in stock right now so yeah i'm really excited they also just released four new shades for summer which i ordered and they did a um blush damage sale on their website which um i will link down below because there's it's still running and i got uh, five blushes five dollars each and uh, they're on the way somewhere between the us and here i have to say i think something changed within the back uh, end of Makeup Geek because my orders are taking much longer to get here. They're shipping instead of from Michigan from Illinois. Um, I used to live in Michigan very close to the Makeup Geek uh, warehouse which I really wanted to drive to. It was just less than an hour away uh, but I didn't because I'm not a stalker. But I saw when, uh, when Merlina was driving by an arbor and I was like can we meet? Please come have coffee with us. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a big fan, you guys know. So I got all the all, so I got all four of the new um, eyeshadows as well as the damaged blushes. You'll see them on my Instagram and probably on my blog once they get here, which might take a while. Last but not least, uh, today's arrival, um, I ordered the new Mulak Brave collection. I ordered it the day it launched. Two minutes after launch, I was there, I was on my computer, finger ready and it only arrived today. It's been two weeks, it took forever, they apologize to their customers, it, I, I still think it's not acceptable that it takes two weeks because the shipping itself, it got here in two days after it shipped. Um, but uh, yeah, and then uh, best part is, um, yeah you can see the beautiful packaging, this is the cheek palette, um, there's the cheek palette, I got also the eyeshadow palette and there's three lippies that I didn't care for. Um, beautiful sleeve, beautiful packaging and here comes the problem. Ta-da! Completely shattered. Now um, I might need to thank uh, DHL for this but um, yeah I already contacted their customer service. We will see what they say. I haven't received an email back yet and it's been a few hours. Um, then uh, the eyeshadow palette has the same idea with the sleeve. Beautiful cardboard packaging, it's quite heavy. There's mirrors in both of them and a shattered eyeshadow. The glitter shadow uh, he right here is broken. I don't want to take the uh, protective um, plastic off because I'm afraid of having glitter all over the floor. So I was planning on filming with this collection today um, since I am going off to Italy and uh, I'm gone for a week I wanted to have some backup and uh, this would have been a nice first impressions and swatches video. I'm gonna see what I can do if I can still use it or not and uh, you'll find out when uh, the video goes up <laughs> and also what happened with the customer service i think the shipping is unacceptable especially because they say they'll handle it in 24 hours and you'll it'll be then with you within 48 so within three days i was supposed to have this and it didn't ship until a week or more later and then uh, they shipped it with UPS, I wasn't home, the UPS guy didn't give it to my neighbors or anybody else and so I had to wait for Monday for it to um, be delivered again. So yeah, now let's get to another category of beauty. If you've seen my favorites you know how much I love uh, swatch. How much I've been loving my poly gel nails and I decided to do them myself. So I went uh, on AliExpress and purchased a bunch of 
stuff to do it. I researched my polygel dupes because polygel is really expensive, the original one from uh, Gelish. I think it's like 60, 70 euros for one tube and uh, I'm not a nail tech. I'm not gonna do nails on anybody else and I don't even know if I'm capable of it. So I went with the highest graded dupe uh, and that is from Elite 99. I picked shade number four which is a mm, pink, quite a, an opaque shade and uh, for that I had to buy also everything around it of course. I bought a base coat, a top coat, a few shades of uh, uh, gel polish which uh, I have two on my nails today. I think the rose gold here and a bronze here. Beautiful, beautiful uh, colors and very inexpensive. I went and bought a bunch of uh, nail files of a different grit. I bought some uh, nail tools um, to buff out after I, uh, let's say, remove my gel or things like that. I bought a bunch of lint-free little um, cotton swabs things. And of course a UV light which is not UV, it's an LED light actually. And I got myself a drill because uh, to remove them you need to file them down almost until your nail, then soak them in acetone and then they'll come off easily. Um, but yeah, by hand it will take forever. So um, I got myself a little drill. All of this was very inexpensive, but this already broke after two times. So I'm very, very upset. Overall, I think I got myself a full kit for poly gel nails, um, not included acetone and isopropanol, but since I work in a lab that is uh, readily accessible to me, it's almost like water. And um, overall, I got a full kit for less than, less than $60. Only thing about all of this, uh, being off AliExpress, it takes a long time to reach here. And it arrived in a ton of little small packages, which really drew, which really drove my husband crazy. But regardless, now I can do my nails by myself and save 35 euros a month. I think that's a good thing, especially because my nails were always so short and I can't believe that these are all mine and they just have an overlay. I love it. Then it was uh, Amazon Prime Day this month as well and I picked up a few things. I looked there because I have it here. One of them is this tripod. And uh, the cool thing about this tripod is, I have a tripod on which the camera is right now, but the best thing is this is extendable and then it flips down and then you have a cam stand for flat lace or swatches or just something that keeps your um, camera horizontal without it breaking or flipping or stuff like that. And then it just goes back in and you can use it for normal things as well. It actually falls into quite a small size. It's uh, from the brand newer that uh, I also have my ring light from. Um, I'll uh, link down below. I think this is brilliant. It was uh, quite expensive full price but uh, it was 40% off at Amazon Prime Day. I also got myself a pair of earphones, uh, Bluetooth earphones that um, I needed and a new band for my uh, chart HR because my other ones I painted the house with it and had paint spl splatters that I can't get off. Annoying. That was my haul for today. I know it's a bunch of stuff. I know this lasts forever. Uh, kudos to you if you stayed so long and uh, let me know down below if there's anything specific you want to see from me. As I said, I'll be on holiday, but I'll be of course super connected because I cannot switch off. I love being online all the time. So you'll find me there and probably see a bunch of Insta stories with my favorite, favorite C in front of me. I can't wait. I really can't wait. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because the next one has a Jacqueline Hill something in it. Just putting it out there. Have a great day, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.